In this video of JavaScript, we will cover the strings. Basically, any set of characters is called a strings. For example, if I talk a take a name like Anadi A N A D I, so each individual is a character and combinedly I will call it a string. So while working with JavaScript, we will go through a number of functions which will help us out in dealing with these string things in a better way. So let's cover all those functions practically now. So in this implementation of strings in JavaScript, I have taken a couple of variables with the name str1 and str2 with the specific values. Like in str1, I have placed the value tutorials point India private limited and in str2, I have put simply easy learning. Now, in the very beginning, what I have done is I have print, used the different methods and but in the beginning, I have printed the values itself like in str1 whatever I have stored and str2 whatever I have stored. So here you can see like in the first two lines str1 value is being printed and str2 value is being printed. Now next is char add. Char add basically is a function which will tell you the specific character in that particular string on a particular index. As in the introduction only I told you like string is nothing but a collection of characters. So if I want to get a specific character out of that string I can go for the char at function. So here the index is 3 and the index will begin from the 0. So 0 is t 1 2 3. So the third position you can see it's O. So that is what printed here. And similarly next is char code at in which the ASCII that is American Standard Code for Information Interchange will be printed and here the ASCII for O is 111 that is a small O alright after that I have used the concat function in which the first string would be concatenated means the object which we are using will be concatenated to the second string which will be passed in the parameters so the str2 is simply easy learning so the str1 that is tutorials point india private limited got concatenated with the str2 that is simply easy learning after that i have used one more method that is index of in which you can pass any set of character or a single character the first appearance of that character would be noticed for example here i have passed p so here in tutorials point P is capital and in private P is capital but only the first appearance of P will be considered. So this is at the 10th index that is on the 11th character of the string. So you can see like 10 is getting printed right here. After that the couple of very simple methods like to lowercase and to uppercase which will simply convert the whole string into the lower and in the uppercase. So which is you can see here all right tutorials point india private limited in full lowercase and here it is fully in the uppercase now if you want to split the strings of a single string in a, in a string array you can do that with the split function as we have already taken care of the arrays where we notice like it can store multiple values at a time so you can see in this single string we have a couple of means a number of uh, uh, smaller strings are there like tutorials is itself a word point is itself a word if you want to split them in as a different element of the array you can do that just you need to specify like which is this uh, separator character you have used in your string means after each word here I have placed a space if you are using hyphen or comma or any particular character you can pass that here and later you will have to tell like how many uh, string you want to uh, you want to store in the array means what should be the length of the array so here I have specified 3 so here that is why tutorials is the 0th index first, first index its point and then India if I'll change it to 5 then you see the remaining two uh, strings are also stored in the string array. 
all right so these are some of the very uh, common methods which we can use in this string while working in javascript